Welcome back to Theme Journals. I'm April. Uh, welcome to the home and the Theme Journal journey. Welcome to all new members. I have some um, finished ones to show you. First off, this is the... Um, it's not quite like my baking one, but it's similar. So what I did is... It's the only thing that's missing is the spine. It's too small to do a, a spine one. But anyway, this is the, the, the journal that I made. Uh, on the inside, there is a portion of a recipe on the front and back insides. Now on the real one, it just had a, it had a full sheet of a recipe. It was pretty cool. And it had pictures on the back, I believe. Anyway, I, I, Put this in this fabric and then I found little pictures from the baking book and uh, they're all directional so you have to get them in the right direction and then I put it I backed it up on cardboard I mean cardstock which is just a cereal box or a spaghetti box or whatever you have on hand then I did the zigzag stitch all the way around I zigzagged the entire cover and I did the inside as well. So this is this one. Let's see how that opens up. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I put a cherry one on the front of this one and the back. Mm. Hmm. Watch out for directional stuff because you'll get it upside down. Just like I did. Anyway. Okay. So there, there's the um, baking, baking journals. All right. Then I prepped this one. This is my water lilies, my Monet one I did for a friend. And so all I have to do is do more loops and then glue in the pages. But I'm not going to do that one tonight. I prepped a third one. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And this is the one we're going to do tonight. This is a faux, um, I don't know what do you want to call it? A faux baby girl's baby book. Um, I call it faux because the actual book was very long because it, I had almost, I would say maybe a 35 or 40 pages, one-sided um pages inside of that and it was landscape it was p the pages landscape so an eight and a half by 11 instead of being eight and a half by 11 portrait it was 11 and a half by eight and that was the size of the journal and it the two the the um cover itself was over Let's see, eight, 11 and a half and 11 and a half is 22 inches. So I did it 23 inches long. It was a big, it was a big book. Okay, so I had to come up with a different way to do this one because this one was such a pain in the neck. So I glued it down on this side. Probably shouldn't have done that because I spent, I, I, on the original baby book I did was I did the, um, I, I sewed it all, but the way I, I did that one, um, I couldn't do it like that again, because like I said, this material pain in the neck to work with real pain in the neck. So anyway, let's see if we can finish this together and that will be my video for today 
I mean Thursday. Hope you have a lovely Thursday. I am uh, trying to get glue out of here. All it does is when I ball up <laughs> into goobies. I started to sew this one and you can see how horrible it was. Yeah, bad idea. All right. Look at that. It's like a solid piece of candy. With a glee metal. Not that I'd eat this like it was candy, but ah, oh, there we go. Finally, it's flowing. I got a colossal pain in my neck. Right, so each one of these I think I'm going to do slightly different because of the different shapes and sizes of the fabric itself. So I'm going to bring this this one up. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to bring this one down. And we're just going to leave that right now because I've got glue going everywhere. <laughs> when this stuff gets decides it's going to flow, it flows. When it doesn't want to flow, it doesn't flow. Anyway, let's see if we can't get this gooby off of this thing. Ugh, what a pain in the neck. Ugh. All right, let's just put this lid on for now. All right, now on this one, let's see if I can't pull this up. Oh, <laughs> pain in the neck. Okay, then when I'm gonna, oh, you probably can't see this because my fingers are sticking to the fabric and it's pulling it off screen. Sorry about that pull it tight and then we'll roll it over this one I'm gonna cut and sew I think I or I might glue it there we'll make our decision later all right this one I'm gonna this is totally different than all of them put together yeah mm -hmm. pain in the neck all right or I might want to just no I can't pull that off now All right, so let's see, we've got, where's my pencil? Oh, Monet's almost done. What else do we have? Oh. All right, I have the holly, but I don't think I have any more holly fabric for it. I'm, I'm gonna have to look closely at my Christmas ones. I don't think I have enough holly left anyway. All right. What I'm going to do for this one is just, we're just going to put a line right down here. All right. And we're going to pull this up as far as we can go. Oof. Pulling it apart. Yeah. Then we're just going to put a line down here.
Okay, and then what we're gonna do is put a little dollop here, along here, and then up here, across this fabric here. Uh -huh. All right. And this is why April gets gooey fingers all the time. I should have just called this gluey finger time. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's give this a little cut here. Now we'll put the glue on for, or the lid on the glue for real this time. Then we're gonna stretch that as far as that will go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this back a little bit. Uh-oh. I think that's too much. All right. Try not to cut the edge, April. All right. All right. Come on. All right. I'm gonna let that go for a moment. Let's see if we can't get this. Uh, let's see, we're gonna cut this here. Now this is not how I did the original book, just an FYI. Then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, after all the glue dries, I'm going to sew this um, together. Okay, then we're gonna do the same here. We're just gonna put the glue down. Just flip the end over. I know that's not how I made it originally, but we've got issues. So you want something that's sort of like this. I'm gonna let this dry. Okay, I'm going to run a bead of glue here. This material is a scarf, like a pashmina. Yeah, that type of material, pain in the neck to use. Okay, let's 
just gotta go in the trash. All right, I found all my my um, gift material all in the same box, so I was very excited just to find all of it at once. I had to look in multiple places for it. It's alive! All right. All right. I think I cut off too much. Ugh, fiddle dee dee. I did. All right, so this is what you do when you cut off too much. You fold it opposite and then pull it over as a lip. All right. And if it doesn't want to come back over, you give it persuasion, so to say. Oh. If the bottle wasn't so busy giving me goobies, I, I might have had enough glue in this bottle to finish it off. All right. All right. See if we can get the rest of that to go down the little nozzle, and then I will try to finish that off. Okay, so this one gonna be a pain in my neck it is um i may have to make this the back and this the front no mm. i don't know i may have to do it. shoot ah uh, shoot i'm trying to think of what to do in my head to fix the problem i've got on on the ground Okay, I'm, I'm, I hope you can see that. I am trying to get glue onto this thing. This is what happens when it gets to the very end. I need to put more glue in my bottle. All right. Now there's that. Okay, I'm going to cut this off with a little extra over here so I can decide once this dries how I want to tackle tackle it. All right, so that's going to dry again. All right. Now, this is as far as I can go with these three tonight. Um, okay. Let me, um, let's see. I'm working, I'm thinking about doing a steampunk um, journal that I haven't made yet. Um, it may or may not be made the way I think I might make it. But anyway, we're gonna do a steampunk one. 
just for fun tonight. At least we're gonna do the cover. As soon as I get some glue off my fingers, that is, because I cannot work with gluey fingers. They irritate me. Okay, so I've got three more of these. I pre-cut a bunch of these. Um, Now, what I am gonna do with this is I'm going to put some paper on the back of this because I don't want, even though I'm scratching this up, I don't want any of this to be seen through the, uh, uh, onto the steam pump paper at all. All right. Oh boy. Mm. All right, now. Sort of get the dust up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do on this I know I had some paper here. Um, I'm trying to be efficient and put things away <laughs> so I can actually find what I'm going to do. So remember these beautiful pieces of paper I've got? We're going to use some tonight. Alright. Now. Everything you have on this side is opposite on this side. So I'm going to try to get some really nice pieces on here. All right. All right this isn't going to work. Not for the first step anyway. Hang on. Let me see what I've got. All right. I have some paper here. So I don't, I don't want to see the box information through the paper. That's what I'm going on and on about. All right. I'm sorry, I don't have the steampunk papers quite up on Patreon yet. I've started, I've got to finish my taxes and that's what I've been working on for two days. So anyway, I'll be working on that tomorrow too. Okay, now see, you might be able to see it through this white paper, but once we get the decorative paper on top of this, it, you won't be able to see it at all. So that's how you hide um, your mac and cheese box or your spaghetti box or your Amy's box or whatever pizza box you've got that you're using for crafts. This is how you hide it. But I'm sure you, are, you all me already know that because I don't think... I don't know how many of you are, if you're new to this craft, let me know down below. If you haven't seen this before, then yay. If you've been crafting a while, then you, already, you probably already know this trick. And um, I don't want to be repetitive or boring, but anyway. All right, please remember to like this video so we can tell the algorithm that it's an interesting video to send it out into the YouTube world, please. And uh, 
All right. Now. Now we can get this out. So this is the side I want to use. So I, you know. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's put that here. All right, and let's do up another one. Uh, let's see if I can sort of see uh, right here. And let's do a third one. See if I can see through it. Okay, let's try it here. All right. So this is how you can use your digitals if you make your own digitals, or you can buy you know digitals, or if you want the steampunk papers that I made, you can see how it looks using the papers. All right, let's put that back over there. Okay, so that's either the inside or the outside cover. Don't know yet. That's so pretty, I must say. I am stunned by the how pretty these papers are. I'm going to sell them in groups of five. Just so you know. And if you want all of them, I will put them in, you know, a, a big group as well. All right, let's see how, let's see how, oh, look at that one. Isn't that nice? Oh, and look at that one. Very nice. Okay, so I think I might do these on the inside, and then I've got other papers I can use from the outside. Let's take a peek, a peek at this. Let's see. I'm just going to grab one at random. I got these all from Timu. Just, you know, don't waste your time on Amazon buying stuff that looks cutesy because it all comes from Timu. Every last bit of it. And they sell it for so much more expensive on Amazon than Timu. And I know for a fact that Amazon has a policy for sellers that they can't sell it um, cheaper anywhere else um, than they do on Amazon. So Amazon has to have the cheapest price. However, the people who sell Timu do not adhere to this policy. I don't know how they get away with it, but they do. Anyhow, I was so mad at Amazon, I quit using them. Yep, no more Prime for me. That's how mad I was. Okay, so let's see. We could do... Uh, do this. All right. Let's see. That's a maybe. Let's see. Got gears, gears, steampunk. Ooh, look at that. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you what I was trying to get close to. Look at that steampunk blue. It's not quite as dark as this blue, but that's the blue I was trying to copy. So let's see how close I got on the originals. Um, Yeah, it's a little bit lighter, but this was the blue I was going for. 
Not bad, huh? <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Okay. Now this time you have to pay attention to which way's up and which way's down because it, we've got directional. So this is the correct side up or down. And so we want to choose something that, or placement where we get this and this so that when you go like this, it's in the correct direction, regardless of which way you turn the front, the inside or outside dust jacket. I don't know if I'm making sense. It's after 8.30 and I've been sitting doing taxes most of the day. Took a little break this afternoon because I only have a lawn chair to sit in at my uh, other desk. My my, I didn't want to bring the my other good roly-poly chair down here because I just don't have room for it so anyway my my butt hurt so I had to stop doing taxes for a while uh, I went out and got my niece's car from the auto shop so now we've got to drive around and make sure there's no other problems with it so I'm not going to do excessive driving with it but just make sure that everything's working because when we got it back the last time it was it had a problem without touching the you let go of the brake and the car would take off and in like two or three seconds it would be up to 40 miles miles an hour and it was really hard to, to slow the car down so anyway hopefully that's all fixed now okay all right don't do what i did look yeah okay i'm an idiot of the first order um, thankfully i have more so haha <laughs> you guessed it all right i think i'm gonna cut these out and try this again You just pick up your your thing and you start over. It's just paper. It's Pam and Paper Up who likes to remind us. And she's right. It's just paper. It's just paper. It's just paper. All right. So, and don't do it like I did the first time. Hopefully, you're not falling too fast behind me. Maybe you're just watching the video while you're doing your own crafting. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to flip it over. Again, it has to be in the, it's a directional thing. All right. Let's see. Is this all used up? Pretty much. Yep. All right. Yep. I need more. Hang on. All right. All 
Okay, so this is the bottom. I'm gonna flip it this way and then sort of wanna look through it to see if we can't get something right this time. All right, let's try it fairly close together this time. All right. And I wanna use this one right here. All right, let's try this again and see how pretty they both, both sides look. <laughs> All right. Get off of me. All right, let's take a close look at this. Let's see what we think. Uh, oh, yes, that's the outside. This thing can be the inside. Oh, yes, indeedy. All right. do cut in this part. Excellent. I will be saving all my scraps because I'm still doing stuff for my um, steampunk roller decks. So anyway. Hmm. How did that happen? So, all right, let's put this lid back on April. Get out your vintage photo, whichever one you enjoy using. I use archival ink. Yeah, all right, let's see what we got here. Let's take. Gotta trim it right. All right, let's do this again. So using our um, archival ink around the edges is a two part thing. The first portion is that it'll, it'll hide the um, cardboard. I'll darken it up a little bit. And then it also will grunge the inside and outside papers. Yeah. Now, I doubt that the steampunk journal I'm gonna do will look like this, you know, because this is just a representation. I haven't made the steampunk journal, but I know I'm making one. So I'm giving you a futuristic, you know, view into what I plan to do for that.
Now, have I been doing this all off screen? I am so sorry. I haven't done that in a while. All right. Oops. Let's do this side, April. All right, and as you can see, there's no um, bleed through from the box that I used through either side of the papers, so. There, all right, let's turn it over this time, April. Yes. Okay, this is Oh, we got a problem in Denmark. The paper busted. Then let's try it this way and see if my outer paper bus or my uh, let's see here. All right, let's see how that did. All right, that did better. So that's up. Now we did better with this. I'm trying to think of all the materials that I used for the um, trying to to align these up so that.
Oh, I'm so dis... You know what? I think I'm going to do this opposite. Let's see if I can't smooth that down a bit. And let's just do it this way. I have decided, after all, my own paper's on the outside. And that go will go right down the, the seam, and that way it can... Um, yeah, okay. Now, what I want to do for this one is uh, put a little hole here in the spine. spine here. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get three of these out. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to string a jump ring through the paper here and close it. All right, I can see I missed some photo. Vintage photo on the edge on here. But what was I thinking? I really would mess this one up. Look at that. All right, there, that's better. Okay. So I've got these three little booklets and what I'll do offline is make, I will finish this one and then I will sew these together and then I will show you how I, I'm gonna finish these because these are a little different finish finishes than the normal ones. So we'll put pages in and the loops. I have got to do a lot of loops offline. I've got to do three, nine loops offline, and then on Sundays, we'll finish this up, and we'll be almost done with our Advent calendars. I hope you that uh, this has inspired you to do some mini work. If not, I wish you luck on your bigger journals, and um, let me know in the comments below if you're working on mini Advent calendars. All right, I talk to you all on Sunday. Have a lovely Thursday and please like, share, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And um, like, share, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for your all the people who have been a Patreon uh, pa uh, patron on the YouTube channel from for the last year and a half. I appreciate you guys and you all have a great day. Bye.